If you've been keeping an eye on Google News lately, you'd know there's been a big push towards widgets in the world of Android. Back in early May, the Android team did a spotlight week specifically for developers diving deep on how to create high quality widgets and how to use them to boost engagement. Following that spotlight week, Google has made some changes to support this initiative, like adding a new widgets filter in the Play Store, and they're even planning an upcoming widgets editorial page that will showcase collections of excellent widgets. This all makes a lot of sense, especially as there's some room flying around that Android 16 might finally bring lock screen supported widgets. So to get you all ready for these upcoming changes or just refresh your home screen, I felt now was the perfect time to share some of my favorite widgets for Android devices heading into 2025. The first item on my list is actually one that I've been using a lot lately, and that's the at a glance widget built for general Android devices. Now I know if you're a Pixel fan, then you're probably already using at a glance on a daily basis, especially since you can't turn it off even if you want to, but if you're someone that's using a non-pixel device like I am currently with the OnePlus 13R, or if you're using a custom launcher, you might be missing out on that pixel-like experience, and that's where the at-a-glance widget for general Android devices comes in. And basically, whenever I'm not using a pixel device, this widget is typically one of the first ones that I add to my home screen. I love it because I still get that familiar pixel-like experience where I can quickly receive info on a wide range of data like my calendar events, weather alerts, traffic information info, flight statuses, and much, much more right on my home screen. Visually, I do think it looks interesting too. There are three different styles to choose from, that being transparent, semi-transparent, and solid, and it supports light or dark mode depending on your system theme. Overall, it's a great little widget for non-Pixel users. I do wish there was a bit more customization available, but as a whole, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I pretty much always have this on my home screen whenever I'm testing a non-Pixel device, and if you want to try it for yourself, this this widget is paired with the Google search app, so take a look and let me know what you think. Just a heads up, I'm going to have a lot of Google widgets on this list, and I have to say, the Google Photos widget is definitely one of my absolute favorites, especially if you have a big, long-standing, built-up photo library like I do. As for features, you actually get two main types of widgets. Both are digital photo frames, but one is for a specific person or pet, and the other will cycle through your past memories in general, pulling highlights from your library. On top of that, you have six styles of photo frames to choose from in these material use style shapes, and for the most part, I can typically find a style that fits my home screen aesthetic perfectly. Personally, as someone with over 15,000 photos backed up to my library, this is one of my favorite widgets just to have sitting on my home screen, either to bring back some great memories or just be happily surprised with a photo of my dog, maybe. Long story short, if you haven't already, definitely try it out. Next up is a great weather widget that you should 100% have on your radar, which you can get through an app called Today Weather. This one I actually found using the new Google search filters in the Play Store we talked about earlier. With Today Weather, you can gain access to over 30 highly customizable weather widgets, and they come in a ton of different formats. You have a lot of your traditional clock and weather combo widgets, which are great if you're using a non-pixel device and have the option to place your own clock widget. But beyond that, you also get widgets dedicated to showing specific data metrics like precipitation chances, pollen counts, or the temperature forecast for the entire week, just to name a few. And again, the customization options are pretty strong here as well, as you have options to change a lot of things like the text or background color, the icon size, and even what actions take place when you tap on different parts of the widget. It's pretty great, especially for a free app offering a ton of flexibility. This next one is probably one of the most customizable widget apps on the Play Store as a whole, but I will warn you, it does require a bit of patience, and that's the KWGT Custom Widget. Maker. This app has been around for years and is a favorite in the Android customization community. To sum it up briefly, KWGT is essentially a do-it-yourself widget editor app. It's a powerful tool that lets you create your own completely custom widgets from scratch, or even better, and much more likely, you can download one of the hundreds of paid or free preset widget packs from the Play Store made by other users. Basically, how it works is you download the KWGT app, then find a KWGT preset. Once you have both installed, you can take a blank widget, 
add it to your home screen, tap on it where you will be brought to your KWGT widgets library. Select one, most likely one that you pre-downloaded, edit the format and hit the save icon. From there, it should be on your home screen like any regular widget. Honestly, I'm massively oversimplifying how deep the customization is, but if you're looking to gain access to some incredibly unique widgets that you most likely won't be able to find on other people's home screens, KWGT is the perfect place to start. Now, if you want something that requires significant less upfront work than KWGT, then of course the standard Google Clock app is a safe, solid set of widgets that have a nice variety that should look great on your home screen. There are quite a few styles you have access to right from the box, including an analog format, a digital format, a stacked time format, and even a world clock format for tracking different time zones if needed. There's also a fair bit of customization too, as you can choose between a solid or transparent background, and the analog option also has four different visual styles unlike the other formats here if you have a specific preference for your clock face for example. Also, as a nice bonus, the Google Clock app also includes separate widgets for a stopwatch and for your recently used timers giving you quick access to those functions. Personally, I think these Google Clock widgets, while simple, are great additions for most Android users to at least consider. Most importantly, they're super easy to set up and don't require much configuration, if at all. But on top of that, they fit into pretty much any home screen setup. Not only because of that clean, googly material design aesthetic, but also because they adapt their color scheme based on your wallpaper, which is always a nice touch. If you're someone that uses Google Keep, then of course I have to recommend you check out some of their home screen widgets. The widget options for Google Keep are pretty much a must have for anyone's home screen if you use the app on the regular, and even if not, you should probably check it out and start getting used to it. There are three distinct variants that you can choose from, each serving a slightly different purpose. You You've got a quick capture widget, a note collection widget, and a single note widget. My personal favorite is the note collection view, as it can show you all of your recent notes, or you can filter it to only show notes from specific labels or categories. From there, you can quickly tap into any note to view or edit it immediately. The single note view works pretty similarly, except as the name suggests, it pins one specific note to your home screen for constant visibility and quick editing, which I find useful if I need to keep track of one reoccurring list. And last is the quick capture widget, which is fantastic because it lets you create any kind of keep note you need in just one tap. You get instant access buttons to start a regular voice note, a checklist, a voice memo, a photo note, or even a drawing note. It's super convenient if you're constantly taking notes using all different modes of communication. Long story short, if you're a Google Keep user, seriously consider adding one of these widgets to your home screen. I'm sure it will immediately make your life feel a bit more organized. And for the music lovers out there, especially if you use YouTube music every day like I do, you need to check them out because they offer some awesome widgets to have on your home screen. There's actually three main variants that you can pick from. One is the unique turntable style widget, which is probably my personal favorite. It's a super simple widget that displays the current album art in a cool spinning record-like design, has play pause controls, and includes a thumbs up button to quickly like the song that's currently in rotation. Then we have the recently played widget, which is my second favorite. This one is really flexible as it has many different different size option and it changes its format to display more or less information depending on the size you go with. It's a simple widget that shows the album art for the most recently played songs that can be accessed with a single tap. There's also play pause controls and a thumbs up button as well. And lastly, there's the now playing variant. This is probably the cleanest choice of the three, giving you easy access to media controls, that being play pause or skip a track in a small, sleek material U design that fits nicely pretty much anywhere. For my own use case, I'll typically keep one of these three on my home screen, usually swapping between the turntable and recently played, depending on my mood and whatever layout that I have at that time. Overall, they are some really well-designed, super convenient widgets for quick music controls directly on the home screen, and the fact that they are seamlessly integrated with Android just makes for a really good experience, especially for someone that primarily uses YouTube music. And that, my friends, are some of the top Android widgets that should definitely be on your radar going into 2025. Whether Android 16 actually does implement lock screen widgets, or if you just need some fresh ideas for your current home screen setup, all of these are absolutely worth taking a look at. With that said, I'll turn this over to you guys now as I am super curious what widgets you're currently using on your home screen that we did not talk about in this video. Leave a comment and let us know down below as I'm sure there are a lot of other great ones out there that we haven't seen yet and hey, I'm always open to new ideas. In the meantime, 
I'm getting out of here, but before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, thank you so much for your support and make sure to check out the April wallpaper pack if you haven't already, and please stick around and subscribe for more Android content like this. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.